Well, recently I was at a concert and, um, you know, I grew up with her songs. I know them very well. Um, and Harp's Lead, which is a song of hers that a lot of people like and is a really beautiful song, people, a lot of people sing. Um, it, I, I mean, it's sort of anthemic um, when I think about her music in terms of the one that was the most popular. Um, but recently I was at a concert and I heard it and, and this has happened sort of since she's died. Um, I'll hear things about her and I'll just start crying. Um, and that song for me, which I, I, I always, it was beautiful. It's a very beautiful song, but, um, it seems like a real expression of her, um, in her sort of later years. And I mean, that's what she wrote it about, but now hearing it about her, I feel, I miss her. Um, I feel like she is in the song. I feel like her, you know, I hear her. Um, and I feel the things that I think she feel, she felt when she wrote it through her eyes. Um, so my relationship with her music has certainly deepened. And I mean, that's a great thing about being related to somebody who recorded a lot of themselves is that I hear her, I sing a song in the kitchen while I'm cooking and I can't remember something about it and I have it and I can listen to her sing it. Um, just the other day I live with a Yiddish musician and just the other day she was like preparing a song for some students and um, I was suggesting a song and I couldn't remember it and I sang it to her and then I looked it up and I got to hear Bela sing it. Um, and yeah, I mean, her music, I, there's like a recording of hers where I'm like, oh, you can hear me as a little kid, like singing along and being on stage with her. And uh, yeah, I mean, I think that that sometimes it was hard for her to, sh you know, to say things and it was much easier for her to sing things or it was much easier to hear what she meant. Um, and to feel close to her, I mean, and that's still available, which I'm grateful for.